My 2020 vision. This is not about my once great eyesight. I wish it were, but no. That 2020 vision left a long time ago. This is about the crystal clear images from the NBA and the USA in the year 2020. A year that's soon to end and one that we won't want to see replayed ever again. Things began ominously on New Year's Day with the passing of Commissioner David Stern. And then three weeks later, we were blindsided by the sudden and shocking loss of NBA icon Kobe Bryant, along with his daughter and seven friends. While still grieving and sorting through those tragic occurrences, who could have ever envisioned that by the middle of February, we would be on the brink of war against an invisible intruder with the strength to change our very day-to-day -day lives in this country as no other could. As March arrived, the NBA and countless businesses closed as the enemy, COVID-19, was well into its devastating rampage that has sickened millions and sadly taken the lives of over 330,000 Americans. Over the next few months, we found ourselves struggling for direction amidst the nation severely divided ideologically, mostly locked down economically, and inarguably uneven socially. With no NBA or other sports to turn to as an escape mechanism, we were challenged to open our eyes and minds to the realities of the time. Well, we have. And I believe throughout the summer months, some of our best attributes as a resilient people began to be realized. We honored the selflessness of those working each day in the hospitals. We honored the courage of our first responders. And we certainly honor the determination and commitment of the science professionals responsible for the promising vaccines to fight and win the battle against the coronavirus. We salute the generosity of people eager to help others in need as well as the peaceful marchers demonstrating for social justice, our brave troops serving both here and abroad. And we certainly salute a conscientious effort of us citizens to have our voices heard that resulted in the largest voter participation in American election history. The NBA certainly deserves praise as its controversial bubble concept, which convened in July, made it possible for the league to complete its suspended season of four months prior and ultimately crown a champion. Equally important, fans were finally able to again find refuge in their televisions and view live sporting events. Most chiefly, however, after nearly 100 days in the NBA bubble, there wasn't a single reported positive COVID test. So, as we say goodbye and perhaps good riddance to the year 2020, we welcome a new year. And we can do so with the understanding and reminder that the NBA is a great league, playing in the United States of America, the world's preeminent country. We are again proving that no challenge or adversary is greater than our own resolve to be the very best that we can. So hello, 2021. I'll see you.